Alright guys, what is up and welcome back to Gary's Mod. So today we'll be taking a look at a mod where it's a little bit interesting because we're actually inside of someone's body. Now obviously not a real human being, but pretty much a recreated human being from the inside. And that is what we are in right now. So as I've said in a video before, I did mention that I would be looking at this map right here. And today is that day. So this is the map called You Are a Virus Inside Joe. It's a classic map. I used to always play on it. I haven't played on it in a while, so I kind of forgot what's in here. So some things may surprise me still because, honestly, it's it's been a long, long time. And I only really remember, I think, the brain section. And that's really it. But here we are, guys. So no one suggested this, but today we'll be taking a look at this. And this is a map. My first Mon Showcase where it's... Focus solely on a map, and here we go. So guys, we start out in the mouth of this person, I guess. We're on their tongue. Uh, hopefully we don't taste bad, although we are some burnt dudes, so we probably taste pretty bad. You guys ever had, like, steak or something, like, Golden Corral, and, like, you know, you get this piece, and it's, like, sort of burnt, and you're like, oh, I don't know if I should eat that. I mean, you know, I don't want to let it go to waste, and it might be good. It's just maybe it just looks bad, and then you eat it, and you're chewing on it, and you're just like... Oh, this is nasty, and then you, you, you try to survive just a little bit longer, because you're like, maybe it's just bad when you first start eating it. It does not get any better, so you had to spit it out, and you're like, oh, okay, I'm not coming here anymore. I've had that happen. <laughs> it's a very specific problem, but it's happened, and I feel like I'm that, that steak right now. I'm that piece of charred steak that simply can't be swallowed, and we will be that steak, but we're going to be swallowed tonight. So, at the beginning of the mouth, we have the teeth. He has one, two, three, four, five. I'm not counting those. You guys pretty much expect it. There is no canines. We're in Ziggs' mouth from League of Legends. It makes total sense now. So, we're in Ziggs' mouth from uh, League of Legends. And uh, we'll probably see a bunch of bombs down here. But here we have the esophagus. And that looks like the nostril cavity up there. I don't know how we're going to get up there, but we're going to assume. Now, oh, sh okay, we're not going to fall yet. Well, we're going to fall, but just... Not down there. Okay, guys, we're going to try to tread carefully. Now, this map is amazing. I absolutely love this map. So, I seriously can't wait to do this. I missed. Okay, so, I, I may have no clipped up here. I probably didn't, though. Don't tell my mom. But we're here, guys. And this is the first entrance you go when you go down the esophagus. So, we'll test this out. All right, guys. So we're going to go down this area now. We have these... This interesting looking tube. So, I'm just going to warn you guys, this map is amazing. If you never played on this map, get ready to be mind blown. So, this appears to be the lungs, which makes total sense, I guess, because... Yeah, sort of. But we have this interesting border right here, which is protecting this. I have no idea what this is, and don't even know if this is even in a real human body, but... We'll go to the other one. The branch... Oh! Didn't know it was that deep. The branch seems to be broken off, so that's kind of scary. Maybe he's... Maybe this guy's a smoker. Maybe Ziggs has been smoked. Wait a second. So Graves can't have a cigarette, but Ziggs can smoke. Apparently. That, that's what I'm getting here, guys. There's secret League of Legends lore hidden in this. Not really. But uh, this is some kind of liquid. We have a membrane cover here with red blood cells slightly floating through, just vaguely through the patch. We're going to ignore that for now. We'll get back to that later, though. We have another membrane patch up there. And this cavity seems to be fairly empty. A bit moist, albeit, but empty. So I also want to iterate that there are many entrances and exits to many areas of this body. And not just the way I'll be showing. So if I miss anything, I do apologize. But this will be a, a long enough video, trust me. So done the esophagus, we go into the stomach. And here we are in stomach acid, which is lovely. Swimming in this. As you guys can see, Ziggs has been eating whole bones and... Pretty much swallowing burgers whole, just taking a few bites, or maybe that's one bite. It depends. I'd say it's one bite. So taking one bite out of burgers and swallowing them whole, because 
when you eat a burger, you gotta taste it first. So I, I can imagine he's, you know, he's a maniac. He swallows bombs whole, so he takes a little bite out of it. Thinks, hmm, this is, this is pretty good, you know, better than bombs. Swallows the whole thing, like he does the bombs. This is legit. I'm finding out secret stuff here, so... There's blood coming into the stomach. Uh, I don't know if that's how the body works, but... I don't think it's this rapid. I don't think it's as obnoxious. But we also have a lovely chicken wing and more bones. And you can swim in this. Like, look, this goes down deep, which goes down to the intestinal tract, which we will go to very soon. So we are here in the stomach region right here, guys. We're going to go through this vein or artery. I'm going to say artery. And here we are in the main blood system. We have red blood cells circling through here. We have some buildup. Ugh. That's disgusting. We have a membrane which we can break and cause this guy to have some kind of medical issues. So this goes back into the lungs. So just like I said right there, guys, there's many exits and entrances to many areas of the body. So, ugh. It's disgusting gunk here. Smack him up a little bit. Maybe clear some of it up. That tar. All right. Don't even know if it's tar, but... All right. I went the wrong way. Um, again, stomach, it's very easy to get lost in here, so be careful, guys. This area, which, so it's forcing down, so you cannot jump up here, that's a one-way ticket. So, whoa, now we're like in the real main blood system here, so this, it's gonna get sketchy. So this goes back into the stomach, this is that upper, the ding ding man's here, guys. If you guys were kids, you guys know that, that ice cream guy that dings his horn, his bell, ding a horn. Dings this bell and gives out ice cream while he's here. Alright, here we go. This is what lifts you up. Whoa! So we have lifted up into a different channel. Thanks to the blood. But we're going to actually go down here. Into this. We got more build up here, which is gross. Another membrane cover. Uh, this. This. Goes back. Okay, this is also in the lungs. We saw this as well. Now we're going to drop down here. And I believe... Is this what I think it is? Okay, guys, this leads to the other upper artery exit, pretty much. That goes back into the stomach again. So coming back up here, we're going to go back up here because I'm pretty sure we've explored every exit here. So we're going to go higher into the system and see where this blood takes us. So up through here, we have a lower duck, but also a higher one. Look at this. Look at this map. This map is amazing. <clears throat> if I do a top 10... This is going to score very high. I'm not going to spoil which spot it's going to get, but it's going to score very high. So, <clears throat> here <clears throat> we have an exit. I apologize. So, this takes us back down here to the stomach area. So, now we know where this goes. So, after further exploring, I realized that that is pretty much all the entrances and exits that we can access so far that leads to every area throughout the blood system. So, now we're going to go up a little bit higher. Going right up here, which is just above where the esophagus is and the mouth. We have the nasal area, which, as we all know, is where we use to smell pretty much everything. And here is the nostril exits, but of course they are limited because we can't leave the body. But we have both. We have the divider right here. Obviously, you'd have one big nose. That'd be <laughs> big nose. One big hole in your nose. Just imagine that. Cocaine will never be the same. Don't do drugs, though. Seriously, that was just a joke. Um, here we have this little exit tunnel right here, which goes to another membrane wall, which we're going to break. And this appears to go down that long, 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 long tunnel all the way down back to the stomach. Indeed. That was actually really cool. So you guys can take that all the way down to the stomach if you want to. Imagine, like, playing murder or something on this map. So... You'll notice we have another upper cavity, and we will go explore that right now. So this actually leads, as you probably expect, to the eye sockets, where the eyes are located. So here's the eyeballs right here. You can actually go inside them and mess up his vision. That'd be really fun. You know, screw his retina up. <laughs> go ahead. Uh, we have the other eyeball over here. This guy has fairly bloodshot eyes, so I'm worried about what he's doing with his life. I mean, he's missing a long uh, zigs, of course. And then this goes back up into the brain, which you guys can see, there's the brain right there. Uh, he has a purpley brain, I don't know why. Uh, maybe Ziggs has been eating too much bombs. Uh, maybe he's been too close to the fumes of the explosions and they've been screwing with his eyes and stuff. I have no clue. But we have the brain right here. Guys, we've pretty much explored everywhere, but there's one area we haven't explored. The intestinal tract. 
So we're gonna go down to the digestive system. Whoa, way down here. That is so cool. I love that so much. So back into the stomach. You guys will probably think, well, that's it, right? You know, the teeth, the eyes, the nose, no ears. Surprisingly, no ear canal area. Just to give you guys an overview of what it looks like, here is the front face, there's the eyes, the nose, the mouth. As you guys can see, it actually looks pretty accurate. It's surprising, honestly. But guys, we've missed one thing. Going deep down into the stomach. Oh, we got a blockage here. We got a burger block in this. Sigs better, uh, better fix that. So, we're gonna go all the way down here. And now we are in... The intestinal track. So, the liquid has certainly gotten clear, but we are in, I believe, the small intestine. Which then leads to the colon, which leads out towards the... Uh, that one thing. So, we're gonna continue down, guys. There is a lot of intestine to go through, which is really cool because it's really realistic. And here we have a drop-off. Huh. Alright, so we are now out of the liquid. I believe we are now in the colon. Indeed we are. And here's our exit. Yes, that is a rectum. So, if you want to look away now, I suggest you do if you don't want to see a made-up asshole. But, of course, we're going to do it for video's sake. Geronimo! Ugh! So, there is not a very pretty sight, but... There you go! He needs to shave. Um, this is not Ziggs, as you guys can probably tell, unless Ziggs shaved his bum, which is... Certainly a thing. We were in a giant toilet. This guy was on the john the whole time we were in his body. Modesty is wimpy. Indeed. So we have this nasty toilet water. You guys see it's green and yellow and ugh. And uh, it's honestly kind of creepy being in this toilet. Like it's so big. And I don't know about you guys, but being in a giant fixture filled with water, it, it kind of creeps you out. Like if I was in an ocean, I'm good. But a giant fixture that surrounds you, you feel like you're trapped like this. Unless he sits up, which ugh. But, uh, here we have the toilet! Yes, the lovely, lovely, lovely toilet. Um, it's just a giant toilet filled with nasty water. And we have the exit hole right here, where we are going to escape. And see where this leads. Oh! And to the eyes, which, if you guys wanted to know how to, how to easily access the eyes, here you guys go. So, technically, the whole map is a continuity, pretty much. So... Technically, the whole map has a continuity with itself, where areas lead to other areas, and you could technically play any game mode on this. You could play murder on this. Imagine that, like being like viruses or something. This should be a thing. But that is pretty much it. There's even been a poll to put a penis on the guy on the toilet. I don't know why you'd want to see that. Uh, some people want that realism, I guess. But that concludes it, guys. I suggest going down this awesome artery right here. It's so freaking awesome. It just goes all the way down through the body. But that's going to conclude this video, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this new kind of video. Uh, if, if I find any more in-depth maps... I mean, again, this isn't the first time I've done this. The RMS Valiant is a map. So, uh, I've done this before, and that's my, that's my most popular video. So, I'm hoping that you guys really enjoy this. I really enjoy this map. So, I'll see you guys in the next video. If you want to leave a like or subscribe, you can do that as well. If you want to follow me on Facebook or Twitter, you can do that. And everything will be in the description. If you want to leave a suggestion, you can do so in the comments. Also, let me know what you think in the comments down below. And if you want 25% off of servers for your games, go check out EO Hosting Services and use the code NECROSVIDEOS at checkout to get 25% off of any server. I'll see you guys in the next video. Until next time, farewell. Now back through the toilet we go.